Hello everyone, this is Don from DonRebSolutions.com. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can change transactional emails in Magento. Now recently I had one of my customers referring back to me and said, Hey Don, how do you change the default email templates in Magento? Uh, I believe they wanted to make some simple changes in the system. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to explain to you step by step how you can change transactional emails in Magento. We're going to make a couple of very small assumption before we move ahead. That would be you would know how to log into the Magento dashboard using your admin account because you need admin privileges to make some of these changes. Once you're in there, you're going to click on system. And under system, you're going to click on transactional emails. Once you're in transactional emails, what you're going to do is you're going to load a template. So you're going to click on add new template. And once you're here, you can choose the template that you want to edit. So you're going to click this drop down menu. And here you would have the default emails that Magento uses. Um, for example, let's choose something new. Uh, let's say you want to change the email that new users get when they register for an account with your with your uh, shop or e-commerce store and you can click the locale uh, in this case it's going to be united states and you can load this template now what's loaded here is a default template that's used in the system and what you can do is you can give it a new name so let's say new account and you're going to give it the name custom so you know exactly which email that you're referring to and you can make the necessary changes in the body of this email uh, this insert variable option what you can do is you can choose some of the basic variables that you use in the system so if you want to make any changes you can click that once you're done with the changes here you can first thing what you can do is you can preview the template so you know exactly how it looks and you can make the necessary changes accordingly so I'm going to close this out and you can save this template now once you save this template it will be saved as a new template in the system as you can see here now next step of the process is now how do you choose this template to be the default template that the users receive because you created a new template so what you're going to do is you're going to click on system again you're going to click on configuration I'm sorry and once you're under configuration you have to locate where exactly uh, the emails are uh, so for this purpose I believe it's under customers and under customers you're gonna click on customer configuration and you're gonna click on create new account options and here you have default welcome email now under this you can select new account custom now that would be the new uh, the new email that you created for the system and you're gonna save the configuration so it's as simple as that but always remember always make a backup of the original so if in case something goes wrong you can refer back to it uh, that being said I hope this tutorials was helpful to you uh, so I'm going to sign off. Once again, my name is Don and I am from DonWebSolutions.com. So if you have any questions for me, you can always reach me. My email address is contact, that's C-O-N-T-A-C-T, -C at DonWebSolutions.com. Uh, I provide a variety of services, so if you guys ever need help, reach out to me and uh, I'll see whether I can help. Thank you.